Okay, these notes are about scientific notation. With scientific notation, numbers are written using powers of 10. Okay, so that's the key. So it's like 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the negative two, whatever, they're powers of 10. A number is in scientific notation if the number in front of the decimal is between one and nine. So for example, if I have 1.8 times 10 to the third, that's in scientific notation because it's 1.8. Um, if I had 18.0 times 10 to the third, that is not in scientific notation because the number in front of the decimal is not between one and nine, it's actually 18, okay? So that's not in scientific notation. Now, if the number is greater than one, the exponent is positive when you put it into scientific notation. If the number is less than one, the exponent is negative when you put it into scientific notation. And we'll go into more detail on that on the next slide. Okay, so let's look at this example. So we have 621 million, and we wanna put that into scientific notation. Now, if you recognize on the previous slide, I said if the greater number is greater than one, your exponent's gonna be positive. So this is gonna be 6.21 times 10 to the something, and it's gonna be positive. Why is it 6.21 and not 621? Well, remember, between one and nine. So we have to put our new decimal right there. So it's gonna be 6.21, oops, it's not a good six, okay? Times 10. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can start at the end of the number and work your way to the left by doing the loop-de-loop -loop thing where you're doing one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. I don't like to do that. That's actually annoying to me and you don't need to. All you do is you count everything that's in front of the six. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight digits in behind the six. So it's 6.21 times 10 to the eighth. Okay, does that make sense? I hope. And if you don't believe me, just use the loop-de-loop -loop to move your decimal over and you would get 6.21 times 10 to the eighth. Okay. Okay, so this number is less than one. So we know that our exponent is going to be negative. Now, this is where some people get confused. Some people want to put 321 times 10 to the whatever, because they want to move the decimal point from here all the way to here. But that's not what you do. Okay, that's wrong. So let me see if I can use my eraser on here. So instead of doing that, we're actually going to move it to here. So it's going to be, whoops. Hang on. So it's going to be 3.21 times 10 to the negative something. I know it's negative because my number is less than one. Now, the easiest, once again, you could do the same thing you did on the other one with going one, two, three, four, five, six. I like doing it a different way. I just count the number of zeros, including the one in the front. But this, you can only do that if there's a zero in front of the decimal point. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's why it's 3.21 times 10 to the negative six. Okay, so multiplying and dividing in scientific notation. Um, if you don't have a decent calculator, it's pretty tricky, but if you have a scientific calculator, it's a breeze. First off though, um, when you multiply and divide numbers that are in scientific notation, you have to use the rules of exponents. So I'm just gonna really go over them real quick because in your mind, you're gonna wanna check your answers because we're doing all the work in the calculator, but you wanna check your answers to make sure you're on the right track. So whenever you multiply two numbers, as, oops, as long as they have the same base and they're in scientific notation, you add them, okay? Um, something like uh, three, or actually we'll do the tens, just because we're going to be using all tens here. So let's do um, 10 to the fourth times 10 to the negative third. This is going to be 10 to the four plus a negative three. Well, four minus three is a one, so it's 10 to the one. You've got to add your exponents. Okay, division, you subtract them. So if it was 10 to the fourth divided by 10 to the minus three, you're doing 10 to the fourth minus a minus three, which is 10 to the seventh, okay? 
So use that idea of um, the rules of exponents when you check your answers to make sure you didn't do something totally wrong. Okay, so you'll be using a calculator um, to do the actual math. You must have a calculator that has the EE button on it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do it by hand. Now, this one is right here. Um, this one, if you look, it's really hard to see it, but it's this right there. So it's the second button, and then you hit the X to the negative. That gives you the EE. And I think on the scientific one, it is the same thing. It should be right here. Once again, you're going to hit the second function. But you can find it on your calculator, okay? So you're looking for EE, like that one, okay? That's the button that we're going to use. That makes life so much easier with doing this math. You almost can't do it wrong as long as you know how to use the EE button. Okay, so for this example, we're going to do a multiplication, and I'm going to show you what to do on your calculator. Now, first off, your calculator, the EE button, is times 10 to the whatever, okay? That's what that means. So when we put this in the calculator, we're going to write, we're going to type in 3.02, then we're going to hit the EE button, and then type a 5. So that's now telling the calculator that you're looking at the number 3.02 times 10 to the fifth. Now, we're going to multiply it because this is multiplication. E6. Then we're going to hit the equal button. And what's going to come out of the calculator is, well, we're going to also, we're going to um, round it to two places past the decimal. So it's going to be 607 times 10 to the 11th. Okay, so this time we're going to try division. So we're going to type in the calculator, 3.02 E, E5. Then we're going to hit the divide by key. And then 9.11 E, E, negative 9. So your calculator is going to show a really long number, 3.315038. Four one nine. Some calculators go further than that. Even Let me make sure you know that's a, oops, that's a one. And then the exponent's thirteen. Of course, that means it's. Well, we got we got to do two places past the decimal, so it's going to be three point three two times ten to the thirteenth. And you can double check yourself. You have a five minus a minus nine is fourteen. So that's good. That means you're close. If you're off by one, you're supposed to be because we act, your calculator actually moves it so that you know you're on the right track. Now, if you would come out with something like a four or negative four, then you definitely did something wrong. But this is what the answer is. So hopefully you guys don't have any uh, questions. If you have some questions, ask me in class. But um, and just start working on the scientific notation practice problems. See you tomorrow. Bye.